the next thing we gotta do is put a battery in. Get positive on that side. Not squish any of those wires. That's the negative. That's the negative. That's the negative here. Hearing anything? No sparkles. Let me get some. Need a whacker. The battery terminal tool. Tight. All right. And their respective terminals. Ooh, I haven't seen better days. But that's fine. Let's see if something works. Yeah. I'll turn the key. Hey, clicking. I try the horn. Yeah, horn works. Horn works. Doesn't sound very good. Oh, solenoids are clicking. I got an engine light, a battery light. She's brand new. Relays and solenoids, or well, relays and a solenoid making sounds. Got activity in there. She's Can I see alive. if it'll crank? Yeah. All right. Okay. Got the clutch of the floor? Uh, clutch is to the floor. Nothing. Nothing. I mean, we should have at least had a click. The solenoid was not clicking. The clutch pedal is extremely sloppy. Uh-huh. Uh, the bushing for the master is broken, and I wonder if it's not pushing the master push rod enough to engage the clutch safety switch. That could be. I don't know what this is. That is why I deleted it on my truck. I don't know what this is. Oh, that would help. So that is... See if that, would, see if that helps. Look the solenoid out. Yes. Well, it cranked for a few seconds and then it stopped cranking. Yeah. And then it's binding up. Maybe just built up. Maybe it, maybe it built compression and it wasn't enough amperage for only one battery to spin. It could be. Alright. Let's get another battery. Let's get another battery. We need more amperage. I'm bringing over the actually nice truck. That should be good. Should we fix the leaky uh, return line real quick, or should we just try it? Let's see if it cranks well with full amperage. Okay. All right. Let's pull the let's pull the air cleaner off. Then we can maybe squirt some starting fluid in there so we can get some pop. I put this on to keep the squirrels and rats out of it. She cranks real nice. All right, let's give it a little shot of ether. Sounds like it was crying. Yeah, 
I was trying. Here. I'll do that. When I'm cranking, give it a shot. Go for it. I was running. Yes. Okay, we were able to get it to fire on starting fluid, so we've rigged up uh, a fuel system here. We're not sure what's back there with the tank and the valve and all that, so we just want to bypass all that. So we've got a hose coming out of this uh, gas can, which has some diesel in it, and we're going to run it onto the mechanical pump, which is down there. All right, go ahead, Matthew, and hook that up if you can. Hose clamp on there for good measure. good shot of your hand and this cable. <laughs> That's a 3 8 bourbon. This is a 5 16 hose. <laughs> That's a 5 16 hose? Yeah. You're kidding me. <laughs> so Alright, right. <laughs> so let's go get a 3 8 hose. <laughs> 3 eighths. Go ahead and put it on the pump and stick it in. There it goes. I'll feed it through the fender well. Coming through here? Okay, got it. Say when. When. All right, and then we'll run through here. Stick it in there. There, we got a fuel system now. Okay, so to uh, test test our flow, we're going to remove the output line on the uh, filter housing. So I'm going to go pop that off. It was already loose. And some people working on this. I think we, I got a new filter for that, but before we replace it, let me just see if we're getting anything out here. so it's no longer loosening. Okay, so when I crank it, we should be able to see stuff squirting out of there. All right, you want to take this? Oh, yeah. Fluid coming out? Lots of fluid. <laughs> Plenty of fluid. She's a gusher. Okay, so we decided to pull the line off an injector and see what's going on here. And is there a bunch of goop in there? Yeah, there's like a, it's kind of gritty. It leaves dark goo on the finger. All right, well, let's see if we're getting uh, fuel squirting under that line. I'll stand here. You go in and crank it. Nothing. All right, crank it. All right. That was a good stream coming out. I think we got all the air out of there. Okay, so we're working our, our way through the fuel system. We're pretty sure the lift pump is good and we've got good fuel going to it. Coming up to the filter, we had a good stream coming out of here. Before we had checked here, we had a pretty good stream, but we've now removed the connection down at the uh, input of the injector pump. So Matthew, you wanna go ahead and crank it? Let's see if we've got, we should have fuel gushing out of there. A 
again? Fine. Yeah. It's it's pressurized fuel and it's coming out. There were a lot of air bubbles. Okay, so now we're we pulled this inspection cover off the front here. We want to see if the pump is turned. Go ahead. That's from uh, ether. It yeah, it's spun. Hit it one more time. One more time. You know what's weird is I'm getting fuel squirting out of the uh, the return lines back there. But there's, nothing. but there's nothing coming out of the tubes that go to the injector that we've got off. Did we put the other one back on? Yeah, that's the only injector we had open. The problem's in this area right here. All right. But yeah, that was rotating. That's good. We'll leave that off for now. Uh, fourth down? Time to punt? Yep. All right. Try again next time. So we threw in the towel the other night. Uh, Pretty sure that we've got the low pressure. We verified the low pressure is working. Um, so now we're gonna try to figure out why we're not getting fuel out to the injectors. We think it might be might have something to do with the, uh, the fuel cutoff solenoid. We verified voltage. We might have done that off camera, but we verified we're getting voltage to that solenoid when the when the key is on. So now we're just gonna take the top off this injector pump and see if we can see what's going on inside there. Make sure everything's moving that's supposed to move. You need something? I was attempting to take the return hose off, but it's very brittle and it's gonna tear. But it's flexible enough that I'm just gonna flip the lid over. Uh, Except it's in the way of that fastener. I got it. Oh, I thought I had it. Ruining. That's on there. Here, pry against these. Oh, I nice. never mind. I think this is a one man job. All right, here you go. Fitting is loose. <laughs> so we're gonna take that out of the way. Everything is disconnected. I'm gonna give it a little tap or something. Yeah. Without breaking that. There, there he goes. goes. Full of 
That's a good sign. Does it does it come all the way off, or is there a connection between the top and the yeah, bottom? Yeah, it comes all the way off. All it's right. full of red diesel. Which leads me to believe that none of our new stuff's getting in there. Well, if it's not injecting any fuel out, they can't pump any in. That makes sense. So, which pieces come flying? All right, so where's the fuel cutoff solenoid? Is this thing that, that here? That big one right there. Yeah. And when that goes back and forth, it looks like it moves this thing here. Look at that does move. It's kind of sloppy. Yeah. Oh, and these pieces up in here are what the video we watched said to move. And I'd like to get all this fuel out of here. Let me... Uh, I was trying to suck some of that out of there. Cool. Sure there's no soot on my fingies. It doesn't move very well. There we go. If I push down here, that moves more. Ooh, that is cold diesel. Anything down here? Am I in trouble? I don't think so. Can I get down in there, maybe? I don't see any crud in there. Pretty, pretty clean. It would help if we knew how this worked. <laughs> We've got all the all the skill and excitement of the middle school band, but I don't know what I'm doing. That moves. I'm sure if some diesel guy's watching this, he's probably going crazy right now. But what is this idiot? And if you push on this little flat lever, it does move. Yeah. How it's supposed to. Yeah. And I think these are the, the that hole up there. I think that's where it gets the 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 intake to the high pressure portion of the pump, based on the diagram we looked at in the video we watched. Not sure though. Oh, we've wiggled it. The one guy said wiggle it. We have wiggled it. Should we put it back together and see if it'll run? Yeah. <laughs> Confidence is not real high. Okay. I don't generally like to find something wrong. You know, if there was an acorn in there, you know? As much as... Now, I remember do. when he... You gotta pull that thing back a little bit when you pop that down on there. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll get a runaway. And then you'll blow up the engine. Which, uh... Some doubt we need to worry about to tell the truth. As much as I want or don't want to displace the natural lubricant in here from the diesel, there is some goo up here on the solenoid. I don't really want to spray that. With yeah, I don't want to spray it out either. Should we put 12 volts on that? And make sure that uh, yeah, it let's, works. Yeah, uh, let's yeah, let's click this on some jumper leads and okay. see if the solenoids do what they're intended to do. And also, maybe tighten this fitting. Oh, hey, those work. Those are working as intended. Yes. Alright. So, there's... Uh, 
Yeah, there's the pressure that pushes it that way. Uh huh. Got to scoop it in the shut off solenoid on that gotcha. linkage. Reinstall the fasteners. Gone forever. Yep, dropped it. You can get it on camera. Positive. Negative to earth. How do we hang it? Did the ground go under before? Where'd that go? I lost it forever. I can see it. Maybe I can grab out those channel locks. I'm gonna go get some needles. The first try with the tools are ready. There we go. How about like that? That makes sense. Yeah, I need needle nose. Alright. Can't find the battery terminal tool. A lot to be said for working on junk you really don't care about. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's probably more than tight enough with a uh, quarter inch ratchet. This f fuel line is garbage. Oh, look at that. It even spins on the return line. Look at that. Got it? Yes. Problem is, is I wanted to tighten this fitting, but then it started to tighten in this fitting, so I'm gonna disconnect the two fittings. Tighten this one all the way, then tighten this one. Yes, they're right here. Separated them and cleaned them. Threw a drop of diesel on the O ring to prevent destruction. Don't get the right tool, just get the tool you already got. There we go. That looks good. Get the animal fuzz off of it. Going around looking at all the injector lines, I noticed the washer is loose on this intake manifold bolt. Oh, and I can move it with my hand a little bit. Yeah. Grab a tool real quick and check on that. I wonder if the intake manifold fell off this recently. I already had one. Oh, uh, that's odd. Uh, I don't like that. All right. Well, then let's just leave that alone. I'll we'll just forget we saw that. So that injector back there we know is not hooked up. Let's loosen these other ones. Yeah, that's, that's the one that was off when I got it, and I think it's I think it's been cross-threaded. I was fighting with it the other night, trying to get it right. It has been... Oh yeah, I can see the threads on the injector. It's all buggered yeah. up. So, so, 
Let's loosen the other ones just so if there's anything's pumpable, know which cylinders are getting juice to them. Don't pull it all the way off, just yeah, like that. Then we don't have to try to restart the thread. Injector is turning. Oh, I'll leave that one alone for now. There. They're all the hard lines are loose except for this one up here because the hole injector is turning. All right, so now we gotta hook up our temporary fuel system again. Okay, should I crank it? Yes. Ready? Ready. <laughs> Uh, yes, I was using the end of the wrench to hold the Schrader open, and we just got fuel up here. Okay, so we've got fuel at the Schrader now. All right, so I'm going to give it another 10 or so seconds. Yes. I ran it right on the internet, it says uh, 30 seconds to fully purge it, but I kind of want to take it easy on the starter. Yep, don't want to change the starter. Uh, no. Ready? Yes. Something is definitely occurring. Fuel is coming out of the return line. I wonder if this fuel filter is clogged. It's like fuel is pressurized up here, then going through the whole return manifold, and then going back there, and then because fuel is running out of right here where it returns. Well, y yesterday we had it coming out of the fitting off of the filter. Got a new filter, we can throw that part in. Let me hold my finger over this. Ready? Yes. Very strange. Granted, no idea what I'm doing. All right. There is now diesel starting to dribble out of the brass fitting on the top. So now there is fuel inside of the high pressure pump. That took a while. Yeah. Let's replace the filter. Okay. I've got one. Don't want to throw a ton of parts. Hey, well, let's do it. We'll, we'll replace the filter. Cool. It's It looks pretty bad. Yeah. Spins with the hand. Let's get this out of here. Gets a wedge between the filter and the valve cover. I presume diesel will go everywhere. This thing's full of dents that I didn't put in it. Yeah, it was already pretty beat up when we got it. We gotta get that plastic cup off the bottom. Uh, this is in a box, in a box, in a bag. So uh, okay. I'm 
hold the filter and you can attempt to spin. It's tricky getting this off without breaking it. Will that help for holding? Yes. All right. <clears throat> All right, I need a tool of some sort. I don't know what that tool is. I don't know what this is. That was some that sort of a sensor? That must have been the wire for the water and fuel line. Yeah. Probably should have bought the one that didn't even have this on it. Yeah, but it was like 30 more dollars. I have to build a tool. Mm, no. Got it. All right. Yeah, you spin. Oh, that's metal. Sure is. There's an O-ring. There's some stuff in it. Wow, well, this is nasty. I'm gonna have to reuse that. No, we've got a new one. Oh, you got a new O-ring? There's a new one in the box. Oh, yeah. sweet. Question is, is it the right size? No. I'm assuming this is on the dirty side of the filter. So where'd that box go? The door is in the box. Oh, that goes up and down. It's like a banjo bolt. So, let's leave the plastic on this so that doesn't get contaminated. This is going to go in here and we're going to lubricate it with some clean motor oil. I can have a jug over right here. here let's do this. Let's up some. And the O-ring popped out of its groove, but it's still sitting in its groove. There we go. Went back in. All right. Want to wrench on it a little bit? Yep. Oh. Ready? Yep. Oh, turn in the plastic. Oh. There. Ah, that's good. Much, much better than new. All right, so let's uh, go put it on. Back to the truck. I'm treating this similar to an oil filter, and I also applied a thin layer of fresh motor oil to the gasket there. I'm gonna get this under here without covering it in garbage. Oh, Nice and tight, man. Nah, it's good. That's probably how they dented the old one is using a wrench on it. Okay, so you can push that straighter in and see when yep. it, we've got all the air perched out of it. Yes, the corner all right. wrench. Wait when you're ready. I am ready. some fluid that came out of here and then some air and then no fluid has come out of the return line down here yet yeah well with that shredder pushed in it would probably won't go past there yeah was it a steady flow yet though should we take that shredder valve out nah what should we do next keep cranking it i guess Yes. Are you getting fluid out 
out of anywhere. No. Pressure up here. Let's loosen this and make sure we're getting it into the filter housing. There's the filter drain on the bottom. Yeah. Ooh, do you, is that something you gotta loosen? We're getting a little bit out of there. Yeah, there's some coming out. Tighten that back up. Yeah, I'll loosen it out of the bottom of the filter. I'm gonna get air out of the top. I'm gonna pull that trigger back. Okay. All right, you ready? Yes. Lots of fluid. I saw that. That looked good. Our solenoids aren't hooked back up, Matthew. Oh. <sighs> that would definitely uh, be important. Those haven't been hooked up the whole time, have they? No. Oh, well, there we go. All right. <laughs> so, let's see if this works. <laughs> we'll call that we were purging the air out of Yeah. Pre-flight checks. And when you're ready. I'm ready. I give the starter a break. Did we get fuel out of anywhere? Uh, yeah, we got fuel out of the return. So uh -huh. the pump's full. Okay, but nothing out of any injectors. No. Should we give it one last try? Yes. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing. I, I put my finger on the return to make sure it, it held fluid in, and then then I let it go, and then I sprayed it everywhere, and then it's it's uh, it's not doing anything. All right. Well, let's uh, button it up to keep the elements out of it, and uh, call it quits for now. Well, we tried, Matthew. We sure did. You know, we uh, we brought a lot of ammo for the parts cannon, but we didn't fire it too badly. We brought a uh, low-pressure fuel pump, a fuel filter, which we used. Then we got it running. We had some fan belts and a, a couple other little items for here and there, just to try to get it uh, so we could drive it around the, the pasture here if, if we got it going. But uh, it uh, kind of kicked our butts. I don't know, like I said in, in the other video and earlier in this one, I, I don't know that much about these old diesels. Uh, Matthew, do you have much experience with them? I do not, as I do not. Yeah, I know you worked on a six liter for your friend, but uh, so uh, we're thinking at this point in time it's the injection pump. If uh, any of you guys have any comments about something we missed or did wrong or something we should check before we, uh, uh, you know, spend the long green on, a, on an injection pump, then please, please uh, post down there in the comments. Um, there will be future videos on this truck. We do want to get it running. Um, so if you want to see those, uh, please, uh, if you'd like to, go on down there and uh, subscribe. 
And if you enjoyed this video, uh, please uh, click the like. And if you didn't, then give me some constructive feedback. I'm, uh, I'm new to this, so uh, anything you can say that will help out, I'd appreciate. Got anything else to say, Matthew? Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good rest of your time. Thank you very much. Bye.